Excellent. I am so excited to be here with my fellow presenters for the Kids Day Talk tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. And of course, my friends, you know that I'll be talking about invasive species and the problems that they cause. And I have my man Andy here. And please tell uh, my viewers what he'll be talking about. So I'll be talking about how in a game called Minecraft, you can use natural principles. Even if you're stuck inside, it's too rainy or cold or snowing to go outside, you can still experience a virtual nature with a game called Minecraft. And so Minecraft allows you to build natural structures and also find natural ecosystems almost. They're not exactly ecosystems, but environments that already exist. You know, I find that amazing. I've always loved the game Minecraft, and some of the things you can do in it uh, with nature are just fantastic. So taking, that's a big point of all this, all these presentations, is taking technology and applying it to kids and seeing how we can find a good balance and how we can educate kids through technology. And, I, and Andy, you said one of your friends is uh, making a uh, mod to add even more nature. Yeah. That's wonderful. Now I have uh, my good fellow Sahil here, and he'll be talking about iNaturalist, is that right? Yeah. Excellent. Could you tell the, the uh, crew a little about that? Um, yeah, so iNaturalist is a website, but you can also download the app. It's like a scientist social media, kind of, and you just take pictures of any living things, like plants or animals, and you post them on this website, and if you don't know what type it is, people can come in and suggest an identification or they can just comment and say, oh my god, where'd you find this? It's so cool. Or, and I I did an experiment on it, uh, on an experiment account, to see if it was a valid source for children to learn on at school. And that's one, what, what, just a little secret, what did your results find? Um, my results did prove my hypothesis, and... And what was your hypothesis? Uh, my hypothesis was that, um... It is a valid source and you can use it at school. Excellent, excellent. Well, that's a fantastic thing. You know, I was not really familiar with iNaturalist before I met Sahil. And then uh, I know I looked into it, I downloaded the app. And it's a really neat thing. I encourage all of you guys to download it. I was able to look all over the world for different, uh, different sightings of different things. Well, I want to thank you guys all so much. And if you're at uh, Kids Talk, if you're at the presentations here, uh, I encourage you all to come to our, our presentations. They're going to be absolutely amazing. It's going to be wonderful. And as always, Commander out.